Hi everyone, today we'll be discussing Cosmos, an AI system designed to automate data-driven scientific discovery. Our analysis is based on the findings published in a recent preprint. We will begin by outlining the central challenge Cosmos is designed to address. Then we'll detail its architecture, review its quantitative performance metrics, examine three key discovery case studies, and conclude with its current limitations and future potential. So let's start with the central challenge. Data-driven scientific discovery requires iterative cycles of literature search, hypothesis generation, and data analysis. This process is both time-intensive and highly complex, and it has become a significant bottleneck in many fields of research. This is precisely the problem Cosmos is engineered to address. The system is designed to automate these discovery cycles autonomously. The primary objective is to accelerate the pace of scientific discovery. Now, what distinguishes Cosmos from prior systems? Its core innovation is the use of what's called a structured world model. This model functions as a central coordinator, managing and synthesizing information gathered by multiple specialized AI agents. This architecture enables a significant increase in operational scale. For comparison, Cosmos executes an average of 42,000 lines of code per run, which is a 9.8-fold increase over the previous system, Robin. This allows for far more complex and parallel lines of investigation. The system operates in a closed loop. A scientist provides a high-level objective and a data set. The world model then coordinates parallel analysis and literature tasks, which are executed by specialized agents. The outputs from these tasks are summarized and integrated back into the world model, which then updates its understanding. This process iterates until Cosmos generates final scientific reports, with traceable citations for every claim. To assess the system's performance, its accuracy and research output were evaluated by independent human experts. This provides a quantitative measure of the system's efficacy. Expert evaluation of 102 statements found an overall accuracy of 79.4%. As the data shows, the highest accuracy was achieved in data analysis-based statements. Accuracy was lower for statements requiring interpretation, that is, the synthesis of data and literature, indicating where the primary challenge for the system currently lies. In terms of research throughput, collaborating academic groups estimated that a single 20-cycle Cosmos run accomplishes work that would take a human expert just over six months to complete. Furthermore, experts reported that the number of valuable scientific findings generated scales linearly with the number of computational cycles performed by Cosmos. This suggests a predictable relationship between computational investment and scientific output, at least within this tested range. We will now examine three specific discoveries from the study. These demonstrate the breadth of Cosmos's capabilities across different scientific domains, including its ability to reproduce, refine, and generate novel findings. The first case study is in metabolomics. Cosmos was tasked to identify metabolic changes explaining cooling-induced neural protection. The system performed pathway enrichment analysis on the data and identified nucleotide metabolism, specifically the nucleotide salvage pathway, as the most affected. This independently reproduced an unpublished finding, and the correlation on key metabolite changes was near perfect, with an R-squared value of 0.998. Here is an excerpt from the system's discovery synthesis. It proposes a specific mechanism that this metabolic reprogramming preserves energetic homeostasis and sustains nucleotide pools. This synthesized conclusion was highly concordant with the one reached by the human researchers. In the second case study, from statistical genetics, Cosmos autonomously developed a novel method, a mechanistic ranking score, to prioritize genetic variants from type 2 diabetes GUS data. Using this score, it identified the variant RS9379084 as regulating the gene SSR1 via the transcription factor ATF3. Independent data sources later provided support for this predicted cis regulatory link. The system's synthesis, quoted here, proposed a specific and testable hypothesis. It connects the genetic variant to cellular function and ultimately to disease risk, providing a plausible protective pathway for further investigation. The third case study represents a novel discovery in the neuroscience of aging. Cosmos compared the transcriptomics of vulnerable entorenal cortex neurons with resilient cortical neurons. It uncovered an age-related downregulation of multiple FLIPE genes in the vulnerable neurons. The system then hypothesized that this collapse in FLIPase activity increases EATME signals on the cell surface, coinciding with an upregulation of phagocytic receptors in nearby microglia. This finding, as synthesized in the report, establishes a coordinated pro-phagocytic axis. 
It offers a plausible mechanism to explain the targeted removal of these specific neurons, a key event in early Alzheimer's disease. This was a novel finding, not previously identified by the researchers themselves. Despite these results, the system does have several limitations, and these inform the directions for future development. The key limitations include interpretation, as the system can conflate statistical significance with scientific value. Consequently, identifying valuable discoveries still requires a time-intensive process involving domain experts. There are also technical constraints, such as a 5 gigabyte dataset limit. Furthermore, due to stochasticity in the process, independent runs may not converge on the same discovery, and the system currently lacks a scientist-in-the-loop capability for real-time guidance. Future work will focus on three key areas. First, training what the authors call scientific taste to better align the system's analyses with expert intuition. Second, improving scalability to handle larger and more diverse data types. And third, developing interactive frameworks to create a true scientist-in-the-loop collaborative model. The advancement of autonomous systems, such as Cosmos, prompts a fundamental question. As these systems progress from reproducing known work to generating novel, validated discoveries, the scientific process itself may need to adapt to integrate these non-human contributors effectively.